Today we use this space as our athletic trophy room and we honor here the most accomplished teams and athletes in Dean's history from academy, junior college, and college years. Naturally, one of the most famous of those is, of course, Eddie Grant, or Harvard Eddie as he was known in his baseball playing days. But he was joined by many more along the way. In fact, R.P. Williams, who was a Dean student in the 1890s, bested Jim Thorpe in multiple decathlon events in 1912 and recorded, in some people's minds, almost unbelievably, a nine-second, hundred-yard dash. But that, believe it or not, wasn't R.P. Williams' most amazing accomplishment. After Dean, he went on to become the greatest handball player in the United States and probably the world. He won 14,500 plus handball matches in a row from the early 1900s to the 1930s. Most of those um, by shutting out his opponents. He then went on to coach dozens of state championship high school athletic teams in Ohio. Later on we have our Hall of Famer in the major leagues and that would be Gabby Hartnett who became a catcher for the Chicago Cubs and in fact won the MVP for the National League uh, in his tenure there. If you Google image Gabby Hartnett you'll find a very interesting photograph of him talking to one of the great Cubs fans Al Capone. So check that out. In the 1950s, we had Maury Eumanns, who was a fantastic football player, went on to graduate from Syracuse University, and in fact was a teammate of Mike Ditka's on the 1963 Chicago Bears um, NFL Championship team. That's a couple years before the Super Bowl started. And let's, since we're talking about the 1960s, not forget our Grant Longley coached undefeated national championship men's soccer team that won the national championship in 1961. And the list goes on. So come check out our trophy room. You'll see those athletes I've mentioned and many more.